With this video tutorial, you will see how to crochet a beautiful 3D cable head. Let's look at our head. This is one side and let's look at other side and show you how to crochet the crown for such amazing head. For work you need a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. Begin the work by making a chain of 80. 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. You should make foundation chain loosely. Continue till you will get 80 chains in the foundation chain. I have done 80 chains and join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Before you make a slip stitch, please check that it won't be twisted. Now I will begin the brim part. To begin round 1, make a chain 3 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, 3. And we are making double crochet into each stitch of the foundation chain. One, two, three, and so on. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. To finish the round, make a slip stitch into the third chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Round 1 is made. Let's start round 2. For this back post single crochet, Chain 2 to bring up the yarn and front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then back post double crochet around the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. Back post double crochet around the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning by making a slip stitch. Round 2 is made. Let's begin round 3. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, then front post double crochet, then back post double crochet, Front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 3 is done. Then we need to crochet two more rounds of the brim. In total it should be five of them. You should make in the same way as we did in the previous round. We have done five rounds of the brim. Let's count one, two, three, four, five. Let's make 3D pattern. 
It will be a round of double crochet stitches. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn. Double crochet into the same chain stitch that we have just worked it into. Then double crochet into the next stitch. Then two double crochet into the next stitch. One. And two. Then double crochet through the next stitch. Then two double crochet through the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the next stitch into the next stitch then double crochet continue working in this way till the end of this round Let's complete this round. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch on the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round is made. In total we have got 120 chains. Let's begin round 2. For this back post single crochet Then chain two to bring up the yarn. Three back post double crochet stitches. One, two, and three. Four front post double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. Then two back post double crochet. One, two. Four front post double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. Two back post double crochet. One. And two. Continue. Four front post double crochet. One. Two. Three. And four. Then four back post double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Let's stop and look. The report is twenty stitches. Let's repeat one more time. Four front post double crochet, one, two, three, and four. Two back post double crochet, one.
to four front plus double crochet one two three and four then two back post double crochet one two four front post double crochet one two three and four and four back post double crochet one two three and four I remind you the report is 20 stitches keep working in this way till the end of this round Let's complete the round two. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round two is made. Let's begin round three. For this, make back post single crochet. Chain two to bring up the yarn. 3 back post double crochet then yarn over 4 times and make 4 front post triple treble crochets we skip 1, 2, 3 four, five, six, insert the hook around the sevens, one, and make first front post triple treble crochet stitch. We need to do three more. Two, three and four well done make two back post double crochet stitches work behind the stitches that we did before one and two Let's look at the back side and we'll continue the work. Make four front post triple treble crochet stitches. I work with one, two, three, four stitches that we skipped before. Work behind the stitches that we did. Make the first one, here. 
here what we have now and we continue the work we need to do three more two three and four The cable is ready. And we'll continue the work. Two back post double crochet. Then make four front post double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. Four back post double crochet stitches. One, two, three and four now I will be making the cable stitch pattern I will start to make the cable stitch pattern and you will continue by yourself we we'll skip one two three four five six and make front post triple treble crochet stitch around the seventh one I remind you in total it should be four of them continue working in this way till the end of this round let's complete this round together insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning by making a slip stitch Round 3 is done and let's look at our work. As you can see we began the cable stitch pattern in the previous round. Let's begin round 4. Make back post single crochet chain 2 to bring up the yarn, 3 back post double crochet 1 2 3 then I will be making front post double crochet let's count 1 2 Let's repeat again. Two, three, four, then two back post double crochet.
one and two there then four front pose double crochet one two three and four then two back post double crochet four front post double crochet one two three and four then four back post double crochet one two three and four then four front post double crochet one two three and four two back post double crochet one two let's look at the back side here are our back post double crochet stitches continue the work for front post double crochet one two three and four then two back post double crochet one and two and so on so keep working in this way till the end of this round let's complete round five insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch round four of main pattern is made let's look at work Let's begin round five. For this back post single crochet, chain two to bring up the yarn, three back post double crochet, one, two, three. then four front post double crochet one two three and four well done two back post double crochet one and two well done continue four front post triple treble crochet stitches we skip one two three four five six and make first front post triple treble crochet stitch around the seventh one
We need to crochet three more. In total, it should be four of them. Two. Three. And four. Then two back post double crochet. One and two then I will be making four front post triple treble crochet stitches around the stitches that was skipped. work before the stitches that I made before. Make the first one. Make the second one. Three, and four. Then four back post double crochet, one, two, three, and four. Here what we have now. The cable is ready and we'll continue the work. Four front post double crochet. Two. Three. And four. Two back post double crochet. One and two. Make four front post triple treble crochet stitches. We skip one, two, three, four, five, six, and make the first one around the seventh one. And we'll continue the work in this way till the end of this round. I'm about complete round 5. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of the round by making a slip stitch. Round 5 is made.
Let's look at work. Begin round 6. For this, make back both single crochet. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. And 3 back post double crochet. 1, 2, 3. Then front post double crochet. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 back post double crochet, then 4 front post double crochet stitches, 1, Two, three, and four. Then two back post double crochet. One and two. Then four front post double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. Then four back post double crochet, one, two, three, and four. Then four front post double crochet, one, two, three. And four, two back post, then four front post double crochet, one, two. Three and four. Two back post double crochet. One and two. Four front post double crochet, one, two, three, and four, two back post double crochet. And so on. So keep working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch by making a slip stitch. Round 6 is made. 
we stop here and look what we have done. As you can see, our beautiful 3D cable stitch pattern is ready. Report in the height is 4 rows. We will repeat row 3, 4, 5 and 6. I remind you, the report in the height is 4 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4. The length of the pattern you determine by yourself. I have done the second report. Report in the height is 4 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4. In total we have done 10 rows of main pattern. Let's measure it. The length is 14 centimeters. Let's make the crown of the head. Let's begin the crown of the head. For this back post single crochet, Then chain to bring up the yarn. Then back post single crochet. Then back post double crochet two together. Work with next two stitches. Make the first one. Not finish. Make the second one not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Then we have cable stitch pattern. Yarn over the hook four times. And make four triple treble crochet stitches. And we skip one, two, three, four, five, six, and make front post triple treble crochet stitch around the seventh one. One. Two. Three, four, Then two back post double crochet. One. And two. Then four triple treble crochet stitches. Work behind the stitches that I did before. One, two, Two. 
three and four then two back post double crochet one two then four front post double crochet stitches one two three and four the cable stitch pattern is made back post double crochet two together make the first one not finish make the second one not finish and pull through all loops on the hook back post double crochet two together make the first one make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook continue working in this way till the end of this round we complete this round insert the hook into the chain stitch on the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch Round one of the crown is made. Begin the second one. For this back post single crochet. Chain two to bring up the yarn. Back post double crochet. and four front post double crochet stitches one two three and four then two back post double crochet one and two then four front post double crochet stitches one two three and four then two back post double crochet and four front post double crochet stitches one two three and four then two back post double crochet one and two so continue working in this way till the end of this round let's complete this round together 
Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of the sound by making a slip stitch. Round 2 of the crown is done. Begin the third round of the crown. For this back post single crochet, chain to bring up the yarn, then back post double crochet, four front post double crochet, one, two, three, and four, then two back post double crochet, one, and two, and let's make the cable stitch pattern. Make 4 triple treble crochet stitches, so we skip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and make triple treble crochet stitch around the 7th one. 1 2 three, and four. Then two back post double crochet. one and two then four front post triple treble crochet stitches work before the stitches that we did before one Two, three, and four, the cable is done, then back post double crochet two together first one not finish, the second one not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the chain stitch on the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. 
Round three of the crown is made. Begin the fourth one. For this back post single crochet. Then chain two to bring up the yarn. And for front post double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four, then two back post double crochet two together. One, two, and pull through all loops on the hook. Then four front post double crochet. One. Two, three, and four. Then two back post double crochet. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. Then four front post double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. Two back post double crochet two together. Back post double crochet. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about complete round four. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 4 of the crown is made. Begin round 5. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, then front post double crochet 2 together, first one, the second one, and pull through all loops on the hook. Make front post double crochet two together, make the first one, the second one and pull through all loops on the hook. Then back post double crochet and front post double crochet two together. The first one, make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook. Front post double crochet two together, make the first one Make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook. Then back post double crochet. Then front post double crochet two together. First one, make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook. Front post double crochet two together. One. Make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook. Then back post double crochet. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about complete this round. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 5 of the crown is made. Begin round 6. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, then front post double crochet 2 together. 
Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Then back pause double crochet. And front pause double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Then back pause double crochet. And front pause double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Then back pause double crochet. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about complete this round. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 6 of the crown is made. Let's look at our crown. And we continue the work. Let's begin round 7. Make back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, make front post double crochet and back post double crochet, front post double crochet and back post double crochet front post double crochet and back post double crochet continue working in this way till the end of this round let's complete this round together insert the hook into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch Round 7 is made, begin round 8, make a slip stitch into the next stitch, begin round 8, make front post single crochet, Then chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Skip the next stitch and make front pause double crochet. Skip the next stitch and make front post double crochet. Skip the next back post and make front pause double crochet. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about complete round 8. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch. Round 8 is made. Let's look at work. Begin round 9. Front post single crochet. Then chain to bring up the yarn. Then front post double crochet. Then front post double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Then repeat again front post double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Skip the chain stitches 
and insert the hook into the front post double crochet by making a slip stitch. Now we can cut off the yarn. I pull this hole. This is reverse side of the head. With a needle go through the stitches around direction like this with a needle go through the stitch as you can see the hole become smaller continue working in this way till the end of this round the crown is made here how it looks so far Now I will make the trim for the brim part of the head. Insert the hook into the stitch, take the working yarn, pull it through, make a chain and make a reverse single crochet trim. Make a reverse single crochet into the each stitch of the foundation chain. Like this. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Make the last reverse single crochet. Remove the hook, insert it into the first reverse single crochet. Take the working loop, pull it through. We can cut off the yarn. That's it. Our beautiful warm hat is ready. The hat is perfect for 52 to 54 centimeters of head circumference. In this video tutorial you have learned how to make a beautiful head with 3D cable. Also we have done a beautiful crown for this head. For more video tutorials please visit our website at sharonitin.com. Thanks for watching. We are pleased to inform you that we have opened membership service on our website. Membership includes an access to the video tutorials which are published every week. Only at sharonitin.com and only for members. For more detailed information, please visit the membership page at sharonitin.com. Thanks for watching.